Hello YouTube, Miller Corner here, welcome back once again and as usual you join me in my bedroom in my Abarth hoodie, so far so normal. But today we're not going to be staying here which is why the camera is in my hand because we're going to be going down my dad and I to Dunsfold Park, better known as where the Top Gear studio and test track are based because that's right, we are going to go and be part of a Top Gear audience for a studio filming with Matt LeBlanc, Rory Reid and Chris Harris. I've never been to a Top Gear studio filming before or anything like this actually, but I am super excited. So let's get on the road and get down to the Top Gear studio. We hit the road to cover the 70 or so miles to Dunsfold. It was beautifully sunny, but cold air and strong winds meant it was one degree at best. The run was so good though that we arrived early, and whilst we were waiting at the gate... I can't believe that original Sierra Cosworth RS500 just turned up. Looks to be basically stopped though, doesn't it? Like there's no... might have an aftermarket exhaust on it, but other than that, what's that worth? 50k now? 60k? Unbelievable. That is awesome. I like that. A short while later, we drove through the gates and onto the airfield, spotting all the familiar sights, including the various planes around the test track that you see on TV. We were then directed to the queue for the car park. Nice box stuff. And that wasn't the only cool car there. There was also an uber cool new RS4 in green and a wicked Clio 182 trophy parked up and there was even more. This is a Lotus Europa, a more plush version of an Exige. You don't see too many of these on account of them costing about as much as a 911 did, but not being nearly as well made or luxurious. Still, very nice. This Gen 1 Audi R8 is epic. Black with grey wheels is a strong combo, it's the awesome V10 version, and if that wasn't enough, it's manual. This is pretty much perfect. Now this is cool, a classic Peterbilt tanker truck converted so that the tanker bit is a kitchen to make it into a fast food wagon. It's also playing classic American music that I can't play for copyright reasons, and I absolutely love it. It did a roaring trade on the day, mostly due to the fact that it was freezing. After a while waiting, the Stig appeared out of nowhere to stand for photos and I would say chat but I'd be lying obviously. No sooner had he appeared than he disappeared into this Toyota Avensis which some say is his own car. We were waiting around for almost two hours but complimentary Top Gear magazine did soften the blow. Eventually some buses arrived to take us to the studio and it was really cool seeing all around Dunsfold including bits of the track, all the buildings and all the hangars that we've seen in the background on the show over the years as well as an old plane. Soon we made it to the studio and walked around to the other side of this huge hangar where the studio is set up. Sadly we were strictly forbidden from taking photos or video from this point but the studio layout remains exactly as it was in the last series. The atmosphere was great with apparently over 700 people in on the day. There was a guy talking to and entertaining the audience in between takes and Matt, Chris and Rory were awesome, really smooth and very professional. LeBlanc was very reserved and kind of nervous, almost like he was trying to stay in character between takes. Harris meanwhile is even even shorter than you think. He can't have come up much higher than my nipples even with boots on. That said though, he did come and talk to the audience between takes and he's all round a lovely guy. I spent the day stood behind and admiring the gorgeous new Ferrari 812 Superfast and the episode that I'm in will be episode 5 of 6 in the new series. Look out for me in my Abarth hoodie behind Matt and Chris during the Ferrari studio link. The whole Top Gear experience was really good fun and a great day out. It was really interesting to see how the show gets made and as the guys get to know each other more, the show gets more and more awesome. If you can get tickets to the studio filming, which is totally free I might add, do it. There's quite a lot of waiting around, but I think it's totally worth it and I'm stoked for the new series. Thanks for watching everybody, I really hope you enjoyed this little look behind the scenes of what goes on in being a Top Gear Studio audience member. If you did enjoy the video make sure to give it a big ol' thumbs up and also subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified when a new Miller Corner video is released. But for now, thanks once again for watching everybody and have a brilliant rest of your day. See you soon and have a good one.